You know, guys, I am absolutely starving right now. I'm hungry, I'm tired, I'm shaky, <laughs> and I'm sweating. Oh, another thing you can put on here. Oh, so dang, this is gonna be good. We like to put some um, yogurt, put some yogurt there. Dang, does this look good or what? A little pineapple, bananas. Any powdered sugar? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, it doesn't take very much of this powdered sugar either. It just kind of dust it. When Chad and I do videos, we never remember to do a thumbnail. Okay. Okay, can I give it up? Am I sweating? A little, little bit I, closer. A little do I have closer. sweat coming off my cheeks? Doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> can you see the pineapple? No, I just want you to smile. There you go. Hold it. Three, two, there you go. Very good. These crepes are delicious, and I'm going to show you how to make them in just a minute. If you've been following us very long here in Serbia, you'll know how important ExpressVPN is to us. We want to thank them for sponsoring today's video. It's an app that allows us to connect to the internet as if we're from a different place. By setting our location to Salt Lake, we're allowed to securely access our important baking documents. But we also use it on nights like tonight where we can just sit back, relax, and turn the TV on and watch some of our favorite shows like Doc Martin. We know how frustrating it can be to have paid subscriptions for streaming services like Netflix, Acorn TV, and Amazon Prime, and not having access to all of their content. That's because they have different shows and movies in every country. With ExpressVPN, you have 94 different countries to choose from so you can watch them from other countries. So even though we're currently in Serbia and Doc Martin isn't on Acorn TV here, we just change our location to the U.S. with one click like this, refresh Acorn TV, and there you have it. So if you want to get thousands of extra shows, go to expressvpn.com slash Griffiths. Get an extra three months of ExpressVPN free. Go to expressvpn.com slash Griffiths. Get an extra three months of ExpressVPN free. The best part about learning how to make crepes is you always have the ingredients on hand. I I dare bet if you wanted to stop this video right now and make crepes right along beside me, you have flour, you have a half a cup of milk and a half a cup of water, a little salt, a couple tablespoons of butter, and two eggs. And you know what? If you've only got one egg, this recipe still works. If you don't have any salt, the recipe still works. Well, did I get that all? We need a half a cup of milk and a half a cup of water a cup of flour, a little salt, two eggs, and a couple tablespoons of butter. How many times do you need something in a hurry? You want something really quick. Maybe you've got company or kids that have stopped by and you want to be able to make something up pretty quick in the kitchen, but you just like, I haven't got anything to feed anybody. I, but you've got, maybe you've got a couple of bananas. Maybe you've got some, uh, Nutella or some jam, some peanut butter, um, maybe you've got some raspberry, strawberry, any kind of fruit, and you've got these ingredients, you can make a really cute little meal or a dessert or a snack or something to give your guests. This recipe will make about three crepes each. So this will make maybe six crepes for Chad and I, and these, oh dear, and that's okay. I got a little little heavy on the flour, you just make sure you add enough liquid to it. It's about right. Cup of flour, two eggs. Why is it people think that a brown egg is healthier than a white egg? You know, they're both eggs. I don't think one is any healthier than the other. I 
just add a little bit of salt to it. And then take a couple tablespoons of butter. I don't know if that's two tablespoons or not, but this is what I use. You need to melt this down. And then it calls for a half a cup of water and a half a cup of milk. There's a half a cup of water in there and a half a cup of milk. And when you make this, if you need to add more milk later, that's great because it needs to be pretty runny. right now it's going to need a little more water or milk. That's too thick, I can tell. So I'm going to put a little more water in it. I use about a half of a cup here to put in my griddle. And this is, you can kind of see the consistency, it's just Pretty runny. This griddle was in our apartment when we got here. I've seen them in Ikea. Uh, the reason why we started making crepes is one of the other senior missionaries that we were visiting. She fixed us crepes for dinner one night and it was just so fun. And she was able to make, you think, oh, it takes a long time to make them. It didn't. She was able to make them really fast and she put hers in the oven until she got a you know, on a little um, plate, hot plate in the oven, until she got uh, enough of, to serve the group of us. And so, I just think it's really fun. So, with my stove top here, I will turn that on high. It doesn't take very long for that to heat up and it'll get my griddle nice and hot. So I'll just wait just a minute, let that heat up, and then I will pour the batter on there and sometimes I make them really good and they look perfect and other times they don't look so great and you will just see what happens but every time they get eaten and pour it really fast onto there and then swirl it around like so. You need to, to kind of spread that a little bit. Speed it up. Okay, I turned it just a little too soon. We'll do better on the next one. I'm gonna turn my stove down just a little bit. Try it again. The first one is never, never turns out quite as good, does it? See, this is this is turning out a lot better. It's. I'm trying to show you in the camera, and I'm trying to swirl it at the same time. Uh, I've dripped a bunch on the on the ground, but you get the idea. If I hadn't been trying to get it in the camera I probably could have done a, a little better job of putting it in the pan so it was nice and round but it's coming it'll be okay one of the hardest things for me to get used to cooking here is the stove I have uh, the hardest time regulating the heat on these things I really miss my gas stove. Okay, I think this one is turning out a little bit better. It's a little thinner. Oh, 
Oh, well, I turned it off. That's why it's not cooking, is my stove's turned off. I, I wondered, why isn't that browning? Well, folks, I turned my stove off. I am not professing to be the world's greatest crepe maker. I'm not. I just really like them, and I wanted to show you how I make them. And, you know, if I do another video on crepes, I'll probably do a better video, but you're getting what you're getting today, and this is what they look like. Now that time, <laughs> that time it puffed up. I don't know why. That's funny. That one puffed up, but it's ready. Okay. Hey, now that one's looking good, right? Well, I was hoping that he would get home. Chad sometimes stays a little longer at the church house than I do, and now I'll give him the camera and let him finish filming. It's so much easier when you're home. <laughs> so, I made us some crepes. That's just a little baby crepe. That's the last one we had. Wow. And some people like to roll them up, but I've gotten where I like to lay them on my plate. Ooh, this is hot. I like to fold them like this. Make a little triangle. Uh -huh. uh -huh. But if you're filling it maybe with cream cheese, oh, that's a good filling, cream cheese. I don't have any cream cheese right now. I'm just gonna make them this way. And I'm going to lay them on the plates like this. Pretty they are. Yeah. Um, so when I was a kid growing up and somebody would come to the house, my mother was really good. She would always say, you have company coming, you have guests coming over, offer them something to eat. And if you don't have anything in the house, when we were growing up and when we raised our kids, we would always have at least a, a bunch of jars of peaches or something like that. And she'd say, if you don't have anything at all, offer them a bowl of peaches. Well, this would be great to offer them a bowl of peaches with a um, with some crepes. I don't know. I don't arrange food very well. I'm not very pretty at doing it. I don't think. Um, I certainly not like the. I don't know when we made our cookbook. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty fun, and we didn't do the cheating like when you're making a cookbook. When like Betty Crocker cookbook, they cheat and they fill stuff with cardboard and whipped cream or whatever. And when we made our Griffiths cookbook, we did not cheat. It, the food that you saw was the food that we made and we didn't bump it up with anything at all. Um, do you want more That's berries good. than that? Okay. Um, so I know a little bit about making cookbooks. But that was fun. That was one of the highlights. One of the highlights of my life, actually, was, was making the Griffiths family cookbook. Well, what made it a highlight? Working with the kids. Yeah, it wasn't the cookbook it itself. About, and then we said that in the cookbook. It's not about, I'm just sweating. It, it wasn't about the food. It was, it was about the family. And um, it's always about the family. If you like today's video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and Chad and I are going to go sit down and watch ourselves a movie. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.